So for those of you who've been following this channel, you may remember all the way back when I started, I would say Chartmetric is one of the best tools for music marketing out there, but there was always an obstacle for so many of you and that you would tell me it was way too expensive. But in the last month, that has totally changed as they now have a $10 a month or $100 a year artist tier. So the game has changed and I want to show you all how Chartmetric can make your life promoting your music so much better. So in this video, I'm going to show you how Chartmetric can help you market your music more effectively. Hi. I'm Jesse Cannon, a music marketing nerd who's teaching musicians how to grow their fan base from zero to 10,000 fans, and this is Museformation. So let's first dive into what Chartmetric is. For years, there's been these services that do analytics and show you graphs and data in a really great way about how your music's growing or other artists' music are growing. I mean, hell, even MySpace in its final days had one of the best looking music analytics sections the world has ever seen. But Chartmetric was really the first of these services to get it right and really make it work. So many platforms feed you useless data in a way that only some dude who wears a pocket protector that chafed his nipple away could even understand. I'm literally the person labels call to crunch data and I'd stare at these sites and wonder what brain injury the person who designed it had that they thought anyone could use the data the way they present it. All that's to say that's not the case for Chartmetric. It looks good and makes sense even for those of you who aren't the uh, best intonated guitar in the strat section at Guitar Center. So in the past when I would recommend Chartmetric I would be met with YouTube comments that said what the hell Jesse? You mega billionaire oligarch billionaire pig, who the hell can afford chart metric? It costs $140 a month. And while I would question if you people understand the words you use to disparage rich people, or if you really think I would have that wood wall in back of me if I was a millionaire, it was hard to argue most DIY musicians don't quite have the money for an expense like that. But with this artist here, for $10 a month or $100 a year, it would be hard for me to not recommend it. And yeah, I know this is starting to sound like a commercial, so let me just say, Chartmetric did not pay me to make this video. They did give me a free account to play with to make it and were kind enough to have a nice employee named Ruck show me around so I can make sure you all are informed, but they have no say in what I put in this video and did not see it before you did. But luckily for them, I've been a fan of Chartmetric for a long time and use it regularly to do my work. So let's start showing you all what you can do with it. So at its core, the site can give you a lot of data about yourself or other artists. And with the artist plan, you can subscribe to one artist at base price, or you could pay $5 a month to subscribe to more artists, but the cap on the artist plan is three subscriptions. But in the premium, you can see whatever you'd like. So for the sake of example, I wanted to use a group that has a good amount going on, since it's not fun to look at blank data sets or ones where the artist is way too huge. This channel is for DIY musicians, so putting on some huge cringe rock group like Imagine Dragons is just not practical. So I chose one of my favorite groups who have a huge buzz going, Underscores. They're an all over the place, sometimes hyper pop, sometimes folky weirdness type pop group. So after you purchase your plan, the first thing you need to do is click on the menu in the top right and click account settings, then subscription, and you're going to subscribe to an artist. This will be the artist that comes up in your dashboard and who you can get the most data from. So let's look at Underscore's artist page. As you can see, as a dashboard of stats, properties, and all sorts of helpful information. And if you get to yours and some of your information isn't linked, well, you could add that by going here. I've had to add for a few of the artists I work with, with even millions of plays, so don't take it as an insult, it's more about technology playing well together and not all of these sites make it easy to harvest information. So the reason you want to do this is you can now take a look at how you're doing across tons of platforms at a quick glance, instead of having to open up Spotify for us, then YouTube Studio, and all these other apps, and look at your stats. You could just see what's going on right from the jump here. At a glance you can get a glimpse of how you're growing. Or if you're not growing and things are going down, you can realize you better start putting out more material. But really you can see so much. You can see top tracks. There's also all these views of data for data. As I've told you before, every manager and label person is now horned up for data in like the way that commenters on my YouTube channel who thinks it's profound to comment good music is the best marketing tool is horned up for well, anything, since no one's going to f someone that says something that's stupid. Anyway, as I've said, when you pitch these managers and AR types to work with you, it's always great to show one piece of data that shows you blowing up. And boy, do these charts make a nerdy suit in the music business heart go pitter patter. Since you could format the data in all sorts of ways and, well, 
If things are going even moderately well for you, you can make it look good. And if you don't get that, just remember, I answer every question in the comments below. So Chartmetric has a lot of data. They have their own rankings on how big an artist is that you're compared to with all other 7 million artists they have in their system. And then in this audience tab, you can see tons of stuff about top cities and countries, even brand affinities if the artist is big enough that would possibly partner with the artist. There's even Instagram top posts listings so you can see what's performing best and analyze your strategy and truly so much fun data that you can use to analyze all in one place. And as you can see here, you can see one of the things I'm a biggest fan of, which is you can see the similar artist list to all these artists. So if you can add that all to your targeting spreadsheet, and if you don't know what I mean, you should really watch my video on how you find community as it's how you get your first early fans and it's linked in the description below, or it will be linked at the end of this video. But all of this data you can access for each artist on the platform with the artist plan and look around and compare artist stats and see where they're growing. Like maybe an artist really similar to you is growing a lot on YouTube, well, you should probably know that you should lean into YouTube more and investigate what they're doing here. Truly, data can be power. As boring as it is sometimes, you can analyze all of this and start to learn what you can be doing better, and this is super helpful. But if you've been looking at this screen share, I know some of you are foaming at the mouth over some of these tabs, particularly the playlist tab, which will show you all the playlists you're on. And I know some of you are smart enough to think that you can reverse engineer finding playlists of artists similar to you with this tool. Sadly, you don't get to do that for every artist with the artist plan and only those you're subscribed to. But it's one of my favorite parts of the premium plan, but I've long used Chartmetric to find the playlist to pitch to for RS. It's such a good tool and goes back super deep. And it even has really great tools so you don't waste your time pitching to useless playlists. But here's what I will also tell you. If there's two buzzy artists in your genre and you want to target the TikTokers and playlists that are into them, it's super easy to pay for that money to subscribe to just those two artists and watch the playlists they get onto as well as the people who make TikToks about them. But Chartmetric truly has a great view of the playlist each artist has been on so you can pitch them. But there's other really helpful playlist tools here. For those of you who want to find playlists that you could pitch to, you can go to this playlist lookup and put in subgenres and you're able to filter out major labels own playlists since they only add their own artists or even Spotify editorial or News Music Friday ones if you just want to see indie curators. If you filter down to your subgenre, it really is ridiculous how much you can filter through and how many playlists you can find. What is cool too is if you sort by this filter of 28 days change, this will show you playlists that are growing. So let's say you click on a playlist, it will show you all sorts of helpful data on playlists like when artists get added. The popularity distribution shows you the popularity score of most of the tracks on it. And as we discussed in a previous video, that's a score you can look up for your song on music stacks. And that video is linked to the description. There's even track age before it was on the playlist, which tells you how long the track has been out before it was added to this playlist. But there's an even more sick feature that they have. If you scroll down more, you can even see all the record labels in the chart. So if you want to try to get signed and target some labels, you can look at the playlist you belong on and find tons of the targets which you can add to your community spreadsheet. So let's say you really want to get on a certain playlist now that you found it. If you click playlist journey, as well as look back, it will show you the playlist artists are off and on before they get to this playlist. Since if you recall, and I always tell you this, that big playlists look at smaller playlists to choose artists. So if you find these feeder playlists to pitch to, well, that's the way you build to getting on this bigger playlist. And if you click this look ahead button here, it shows where songs go after they've been on this playlist, which could be helpful if you've already been on a playlist, it's super likely you can get on the next playlist in the look ahead. This to me is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in the playlist game, since I know so many of you are trying to get on big playlists. And well, with this tool, you now have a roadmap of the playlists you should be trying to get on in order to get there. And if this is blowing your mind like it did mine, this is why you should subscribe and get notified of each time I make a video so you never miss anything like this. But I know the other tab you got your eye on, and that is the one that says TikTok. As you can see, when you click on TikTok, it starts with a list of songs. This is all the people who are using your song to make videos. So you click on a song and you get a chart of its graph of the song's growth on the platform. But here's where you really start cooking with gas. You now have a list of everyone making TikToks of your song. So you don't have to go through TikTok's terrible interface to see this. So now you can follow these creators and if they follow you back, you can hit them when your next song comes out. 
But obviously the real juice here is if you're trying to do a TikTok influencer campaign, you can click on the artist similar to you and see the top TikTok users that have done videos to each song and try to contact them to pay to make a TikTok of your song. Now with the artist plan, you can only see the artist you are subscribed to, but on the premium tier, you can see any artist and all of this data. But truly, even with being able to just view yourself, you gain an awareness you can use to follow and engage with fans, ignite a deeper relationship with those fans, and grow your own streams. And there's lots of other features aside from these. The radio tab will show you radio stations that the song's been played on. The airplay will show you which cities you got airplay in. TV will show you if an artist has been on late night TV, so if you're watching why they suddenly got huge numbers, that will tell you. It will also show you charts that the artists have been on, on digital streaming sites, and events will show you how often these artists are playing if you want to gauge how much artists who are similar to you are touring. Truly this tool has so many levels to it, I find something new every week, and I could probably make a new video just like this one every month as I find more ways to use it. But if you want to keep learning to promote your music, I highly suggest watching the video that's on the screen now on how to find community for your music. Click and keep learning. Thanks for watching.